shoe is better to hoop in? The Nike Kyrie 8 Infinity or the Adidas Don Issue 3? Today we're putting the newest models from Kyrie Irving and Donovan Mitchell shoe lines head to head to see how they compare. But really quick, if this is your first time checking us out, feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. So starting off with the box and the price, the Kyrie 8s get some Kyrie text inside of an oval pattern. And then in the middle is either like a sideways 8 or an infinity sign. But now switching it over to the Don Issue 3, you're gonna get that spider logo kind of on the middle of the box since his nickname is Spider Mitchell. But as for pricing, the Kyrie 8s are gonna retail for $130 which does match the same as last year's Kyrie 7. And then for the Don 3s, they're going to retail for only $110. It's one of the cheapest signature shoe lines that you can get right there alongside of PG's line. But I mean, both of these shoes are going to be on the more affordable side. So that's good for the bank account at least. So doing a quick rundown for the appearance of these shoes and starting off with the colorways, today we're checking out the Nike Kyrie 8 Infinity Aluminum versus the Adidas Don Issue 3 Louis Vuitton Cardinals. So starting off with the Kyrie 8s, pretty much all of Kyrie's shoes in his line have kind of followed the same mid-top structure, aside from the ones that were made to be specifically low, like the Kyrie 5 low, the Kyrie 4 low, but I mean with Kyrie 8 getting like a curved midsole look, these are going to match up a little more with the Kyrie 6 just compared to last year's Kyrie 7 that had like a shark tooth design in that same kind of spot. And I think the wavy heel pattern on this is really clean. It reminds me a little bit of like the Adidas Dame 7 extended play, you know, that whole series right there. But this specific colorway is also going to get an hourglass look to the tongue. So honestly, I'm just, I'm big on this Kyrie 8 model for the appearance. I like it a lot better. I think it's a pretty nice setup. But now switching it over to the Adidas Don Issue 3. This is the college edition for Donovan's uh, line, or I guess for his shoe brand, for his colorway. It's since he did attend Louisville before getting drafted by the Utah Jazz, but it's definitely not a bad look for this year's model either. They did switch some things up too. You're gonna have like, you know, more of a mid, uh, more of a crown design kind of running up that midsole. And I really do like that. And then they replaced the Adidas logo on the tongue and gave that more of like, you know, the spider type setup, the spider logo, the same thing that you saw from the shoe box. And you know, I do think that looks a lot better. Then you're gonna get some Louisville branding that shows up on that band. that's kind of running across the laces and different colorways get different markings in that spot. But I mean, they did take away the wavy heel pattern that was on the Don 2s. They just have a patch kind of in that spot back there now. Probably did prefer the last uh, last year's setup in that spot specifically. I mean, still an all around nice look for both of these models, but now let's go ahead and see how each of these shoes hold up on the court. So getting into more of the materials and the performance side for the shoes, and starting off with the cushioning on the Kyrie 8s, these come stuffed with some cushioning features that don't always show up in Kyrie's line. Like it is pretty typical for a Kyrie basketball shoe to either have cushioning units kind of in the front or in the back of the shoe, but this year's Kyrie 8 Infinity is gonna get it in both spots. You're gonna have a zoom unit in the heel, which does feel good, but in the forefoot, you're gonna get a zoom strobel setup that is just spring loaded. Like you can feel it compressed with every step and jump. It just feels really responsive and it protects your foot really well whenever you're landing from a jump. The cushioning is something I knocked a little bit on the Kyrie 7s. It wasn't bad, but I still think it did improve this year, which is nice. And then now switching it over to the Don Issue 3. Adidas went with the light strike setup for cushioning. And I personally think this is an improvement compared to the balance that was used in the Don Issue 2. I mean, this model is gonna play a little bit softer, so I did like that. And they're gonna be pretty well balanced from the front to the back. So it's definitely not a bad feel to play in. They're soft from the jump and you won't need, you know, you might need a little bit of breaking time in these. Definitely not much though. And I will say they're not gonna be quite as padded as the Kyrie Aids, but cushioning is still gonna be above average on this Don Issue 3. For materials and support, the Kyrie Aids are gonna get mostly textiles in the front half of that shoe. And there's lots of benefits to doing that, like keeping it lightweight and breathable. Then you're gonna get some nicer materials on the back half, kind of near the ankle. That black patch is more of a leather-like feel. And like I was saying earlier, that's gonna resemble more of the Kyrie 6 than it will the Kyrie 7, which was pretty much just textiles covering the entire shoe. And then the support is another highlight for this Kyrie 8 for a few different reasons. The upper doesn't move on any of your harsh movements, and these black straps kind of run under the laces and kind of wrap around the outside where the laces feed through that. And that signifies some wings that are gonna mark out a strap that's gonna run behind your heel, just kind of tighten your foot into the shoe. And then it's also gonna run forward around your toes, and just pull your entire foot into the design. And you can even see where that like strap kind of begins and ends on the front half of the shoe if you follow that blue line that kind of runs along the toe box. So, I mean, Kyrie's line has never really struggled with support and that continues on here. And then now looking at the Don Issue 3, much like the Kyrie Aids, these are gonna be mostly textiles, but you are gonna have some TPU overlays placed on a few different spots on the upper. And the upper does have some holes kind of built in there allowing for your foot to breeze, breathe, which is gonna be nice and just kind of give you an overall lighter feel for the shoe. And the support isn't a bad aspect on these either. 
you are going to have a crown logo kind of on the mid midsole kind of built up there that's going to play a role in keeping your foot just within the shoe so it's not sliding out so i mean i would say the lateral containment is pretty solid on these and the upper doesn't move with any step backs or cuts but i will say the support probably isn't quite as good as it was on the don issue too you had a more noticeable heel counter on there to keep your foot more stable and i think the upper material was a little bit more firm but i mean to go along with that i don't think last year's model was as comfortable for a few of those reasons so i mean some shoe lines you kind of get one or the other but i mean I still think the Don 3 stacks up solid for both of these categories, but I have been see seeing some people talk about like, you know, heel slippage in this model. I just haven't personally had that problem yet. And both of these shoes are actually going to be super light to play in. The Don 3 only weighs 408 grams for a size 10 and a half. And the Kyrie 8 is going to be just a touch below that at 400 grams even for the same size. So anything around that 400 gram mark is going to be noticeably light to play in. And both of these shoes are going to feel that way. To finish off with traction, Nike went with a data-driven pattern on the Kyrie 8, but it does have a better flow compared to last year's model. This is just going to be closer to a traditional herringbone setup with those arrows in there after last year's Kyrie 7, which is a little bit too random for me. Honestly, these do look pretty similar to the Dame 7 extended play, just as far as the traction pattern goes. No, that's kind of cross branding there but i mean the outsole is going to extend a little bit from the inner pattern where that kind of lightning bolt design is just thought that was a little bit different and i actually bought a pair with an xdr outsole which is just a more durable rubber so i am happy about that it makes them a little more likely for me to use them outside but i wasn't really in love with how the traction played on last year's Kyrie 7 but i will say it does feel better on this year's Kyrie 8 and now looking at the don issue 3 these have a similar look to last year's model just as far as the pattern goes and they aren't bad but i still would say they aren't really great either they do have a little bit of grip on the floor but nothing over the top like they have played sort of inconsistent for me so i'm just not sold on the design as a whole but the rubber is pretty durable from what i've noticed so not a bad option if you want to use these outdoors but to finish off with sizing i went true to size on both of these and that worked out perfect for me i mean for the length and the width i didn't feel squeezed but there wasn't more room than i needed either so for the final ratings and starting off with the appearance, both of these shoes are really clean, but I just love what this year's Kyrie 8 has going on after not really liking the Kyrie 7. The Don 3s are nice, but not quite as nice. So I'm gonna start off with Kyrie's line. For cushioning, this is a spot where both of these shoes did improve from their previous models, but the Kyrie 8s are just gonna be on another playing field. That's just kind of what it feels like. They're gonna be spring loaded and just overall really comfortable. So I'm gonna stay with Kyrie's line here. And then now looking at the materials, I mean, neither shoe feels cheap. And then, I mean, there's not really a clear way to lean. I kind of, I'm kind of tempted to go Kyrie just because you got that you know somewhat leather patch but i'm gonna keep this section as a tie and then for the support like i said the don threes they probably got a little bit worse compared to the twos but the carry eights they got better compared to the sevens and they just have some extra support pieces on there so i'm gonna come back to carry eight here and then to finish off with traction i'm gonna stay with the carry eight again they have a little bit more bite and then i mean up until this point i just haven't struggled in them at all well the don threes they do have a tendency to like slip on occasion so that is going to lead to me going with the nike Kyrie 8 infinity as the better shooter hoop in. I mean, after last year's Kyrie 7, I'm overall just really impressed with this year's Kyrie, with this year's Kyrie 8 shoe. I mean, they got lighter, the cushioning is better, they added some additional support pieces, and it's just a really well-rounded shoe. So the Don 3s are definitely really nice to play in. My only real concern is going to be the traction not being quite sticky enough for me to love, but I mean, everywhere else, the Don 3 plays really well. Thank you guys for taking some time to watch. If you want to buy the Nike Kyrie 8 Infinity, just click the link here on screen. Or we have links for both shoes down below or in our bio, so feel free to check that out. But until next review, I'm Landon from Shoeway. Peace.